Gul'dan versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Your soul shall be mine. I think I keep Blood Bloom, and I'll keep Illusionist. Is someone injured? I don't think that's scary enough for me to coin a Doomsayer. But if he hero power passes here, I will play Doomsayer on two. Okay, I'll still play Doomsayer on two with this. If this Doomsayer goes off, it's really good for me. If he has Divine Spirit in her fire, I probably lose. No, I shouldn't say that. I can Blood Bloom into something. Let's see if this can pick up something worthwhile here. Since Demons does pull two cards out of my deck, I already have a Hellfire. Feeding time is garbage. I guess I take Sense Demons. Jaraxxus is the most important card in this matchup anyway, I think. Did I coin Bully? 4-6 is pretty annoying for Priest. Okay, it's Elemental Priest. Maybe he's not playing Divine Spirit in her fire bullshit. Seems like my bully might actually die without getting any coins. That kinda sucks. I guess the play here is just since demons tap. I guess this is good if he's playing Medivh. Probably not an elemental priest though. Do I make this attack? These two attacks I guess I would do. I guess I could have played Mortal Coil after attacking into this instead of tapping. I think I'm just gonna pass. Hmm. If he has a spell now, he can actually make me overdraw by giving me a coin. I think that's okay though. I can play Hellfire plus Mortal Coil here to kill his two bigger dudes. It does leave my Burgly Bully in death range, but I guess kinda sucks. Getting a coin would actually be really really good with this hand, but I don't think there's much of a way to avoid it. Let's start with the Hellfire Coil. I guess we're playing the Nether Portal. If I make this attack, or this attack. I guess this one makes a lot more sense, huh? So he can trade either of his dudes into my bully, but he's probably not really thrilled about trading either of them in. Really, just Lyra with no, no follow-up, huh? I don't have a way to kill it, though, so no punish. I mean, I do have a way to kill it, but it sucks a lot. I have to go Blood Bloom plus Nether or Doom. But probably don't really have to be too worried about Burst from Priest. I really don't want to let that Lyra draw a bunch of cards. Whatever, let's go down to three. I don't give a shit. Could have played the Violet Illusionist there, but fuck it. I don't think priests can kill me from three. I don't believe it. <laughs> okay, second Lyra. Well, now I have a Blast Crystal Potion, so I don't have to waste a big AoE on it. Okay, so two random priest cards in hand. Unfortunately, I think I do have to play a Blast Crystal Potion here. It doesn't really line up too well with the rest of my mana. I might just play out the Violet Illusionist. I don't think the 4-3 is too likely to die. Nice. 
I kind of wish I had played this when I played the Doom. I'm not actually sure how Violet Illusionist Blood Bloom works if you try to play something that's too expensive. My guess would be you can't play it. Like, if I tried to Blood Bloom a Twisting Nether here, my guess is it probably wouldn't let me. So tempted to try it, though. Because if it works, then I can play Elise this turn. If I can't do it, though, I actually can't even play the Twisting Nether, which would be really good here. Let's just play it safe and go for Twisting Nether. Yeah, I think I have to Nether here. Heal up to a more comfortable 7 instead of 3, which is good, I guess. I'm pretty sure that I'm correct about the Blood Bloom interaction there. But if I could have played Blood Bloom Twisting Nether, that was definitely the better play. I'm so reluctant to play Jaraxxus here, because if he has Divine Spirit Inner Fire bullshit, I can lose. But do you have room for that in Elemental Priest? Let's just play Jaraxxus. If I play Jaraxxus here and don't die, then next turn is Twisting Nether plus Abyssal, or Infernal, whatever they're called. And, uh, I'm in a really good spot from there. He needs 9 damage, that's not easy to have. Even though his board doesn't look that strong, I am still going to play Twisting Nether here. Just to, uh, just to make sure I am firmly ahead on the board. I have a Shadow Flame if things get out of hand. If he plays one big guy, I have the Blast Crystal Potion. Alright, Shadow or Death kills my hero power. That's not good for him. This might end up being one of those classic Jaraxxus versus Priest games. This jungle hides <laughs> Heal up a little bit here just to make sure the surprise lethals are a little bit more difficult. Oh, I want a control game. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're hoping he's not Quest Rogue. I think Quest Rogue is actually impossible. He did touch the card that would be the quest, so maybe he's not Quest. Alright, no quest. Potentially winnable matchup. Doomsayer is an okay turn too. Hmm, not sure if I'll play it. Against Swashburglar patches, maybe it's best to just go ahead and throw out the Doomsayer. Especially since I picked up a second one. If I can kill these dudes here, it might prevent like three or four turns of damage out of them. Double Hallucination, so he's gonna have two Warlock cards. Luckily for me, Warlock cards are garbage. So do I tap or do I play Earthen Ring Farseer here? I think I'm gonna play Earthen Ring Farseer here. I think this is a matchup where I just need to chill and try to kill everything he throws at me. Rather than trying to play like the earliest possible Jaraxxus. Okay, that's kinda scary. Um, I'm not gonna play a Blast Crystal Persian on turn 4. So, I'm just gonna hope that Doomsayer kills this. And if Doomsayer doesn't kill it, then he still has to send 7 damage into the Doomsayer. Cold Blood? Hmm, I don't think Cold Blood's particularly common, is it? He could have played Swashburglar first and given his guy 9 attack instead of 7. But, who cares about playing things in the correct order? I can't leave a 7-6 on the board. As much as I hate to lose a mana crystal this early, I just can't take that 7. 
We actually got some pretty good Warlock cards, just solid playable minions. That's really the best you can ask for against a Warlock. If I didn't get another playable card there, I would have played the Ooze. But the Mistress of Mixtures has a comparable body to the Ooze. I guess this gives him the opportunity to, like, dagger Swashburglar into it. But it's pretty comparable. And I certainly don't mind getting the healing. I'm just gonna Hellfire this board. It doesn't quite kill the Crystal Weaver, but Abyssal Enforcer next turn should. Unfortunately, I am getting pretty low on life. So even though this is a good Abyssal Enforcer, I might just be dead next turn. I'm at 9, so if he has Leroy plus 4 damage, I'm dead. And since he's playing Cold Blood, he probably is playing Leroy. I got the best deals anywhere. Hmm. Zap, huh? Okay. Pretty bad for me, honestly. Um, with this hand, I think I have to Twisting Nether Gadgets and Auctioneer. Nah, I guess I play, uh... Blast Crystal. I don't know, I really don't want to lose the mana here. But Twisting Nether is, like, so much better later on, potentially. I guess I'm just gonna accept that I have 8 mana next turn. Play Blast Crystal, develop some dudes. If I don't die here, I get the healing out of the Mistress, which should be pretty helpful. Also, I just threw out the Ooze there, because even if I hit one of his weapons, it's just gonna be a hero power, and it's only gonna heal me for one. I think I'd just rather have the guy on the board. So he's getting a Sherizen back, which means I probably have to play Abyssal Enforcer here. Yeah, I don't think I value this 3 health enough to, uh, Violet Illusionist Blood Bloom Twisting Nether to kill that. Definitely thought I clicked the end turn button, but I guess I missed. I got the best deals anywhere. The Brotherhood shall. It's a big Ed one. I guess that's why we play Twisting Nether. If I play Violet Illusionist Blood Bloom, I can also tap, but I have to play the Twisting Nether. I'm only gonna have two mana left over, so tapping isn't even really that good here. I think I just keep it simple and play Twisting Nether here. Um, if I don't die this turn, I do have Jaraxxus, Alexstrasza, and Deathwing. So I've got some heals, I've got some security with the Deathwing. This might still be a win. He doesn't have a Cold Blood target, I've seen one Eviscerate. Okay, I survived the turn. Um, is Jaraxxus better than Alexstrasza? I think I like Jaraxxus. It lets me start pressuring him with the weapon. It's not nearly as weak to sap. And if I'm forced to play Deathwing next turn, I certainly feel a lot better about having Jaraxxus in play. Okay, don't hit damage off this, please. He hit damage and I died. Nice. Well, I guess maybe I'm not dead. Maybe he's just eviscerating for Sherizen. Okay, I didn't die. Nice. Um, has to be Alexstrasza, right? 
So we smack into Shaku to go down to 1. Alex up to 15. At this point I've seen both Eviscerates and at least one Cold Blood. I think it should actually be pretty tough for him to kill me from here. Damn it. Oh, I'm not dead. I lived. Okay, this is still really bad though, because I'm super low. And I'm only showing five. I have Hellfire for eight. So I don't have lethal. If I just play Deathwing, can he possibly kill me next turn? I've seen Leroy both eviscerates. I think he does still have a cold blood in his deck, but he won't have anything to put it on. Well, I also don't have to play Deathwing here. I can go like Violet Illusionist, Hellfire, make a dude, and then I can save the Deathwing. That still threatens lethal for next turn. I guess I probably should have Mortal Coiled instead of, uh, instead of sending the 1-1 one -one in. Miscounted my mana. Okay. I mean, it has to be Deathwing, right? There's no alternative. I have to dodge one damage. I did it! Whew. If I had played the Deathwing last turn instead of the, uh, the Illusionist Hellfire thing, I wouldn't have even had to take in the extra turn of potentially dying, because he wouldn't have had damage with the uh, Demon Fire Shadow Bolt backstab to kill the Deathwing. I guess that was a thing I could have played around. I was pretty confident he didn't have damage left in his deck, though. Anyway, I won a game, so that's good enough for me.